towards you. Well, we're not towards you, so it's going to end up. It's going to end Spoon. I didn't have it with me on the boat yesterday, but just for example, you get the spoon right in there, and you can get all the blood, the blood lines out of the inside of the fish as best you can. So you can descale it with a descaler, a couple different kinds. And then I'll, the other side I'll spray. I, I'll show you what I learned a couple years ago from somebody. And you want to go against the scales to pop them out. And then this, you take the sprayer and you spray against the scales. A lot of times you can just wash the scales right off the salmon. And that's why they tell you to be careful of them when you're handling them if you're letting them go because you see how fast the scales came off. See how fast those scales come off? So I think it's a little faster, a little cleaner than using the scaler, so it comes right off nice and clean. I want to do some of this in steaks and some of it in fillets. Okay. So, thinking about staking it from there that way. Okay. Like through here. Yeah, I think that would be good. And then having a couple fillets right there. I'm going to fillet it here like that. right there. I want to save this part. This we teri you can teriyaki that and then put it onto the barbecue and grill it. What do you think of that? Good. Normally I have my scissors with me and I just cut off these fins, but uh, I'll do that later because I don't have those with me. Some of our friends said eat some of this as a sashimi with some soy sauce. So I, I again, I'm not sure what direction or angle to cut any of the fish. So I'm just going to go ahead and Seems like I probably should be cutting in a different direction. It kind of falling apart. So, mmm, good. good stuff. That's actually amazing. Yeah, see how it's starting to fall apart. There's probably a better way to cut it. But if anyone knows, feel free to let us know because I'm sure it would be amazing. I don't know if you can see all the oil and grease on this fish. It's beautiful. Mm, yeah. Cut it this way and just see if it stays together better. Oh, it's just like coming apart. Yeah. Wow. It really is. It's almost like ribbons. I'm 
sure there's a good way to cut this. So we're going to put <clears throat> soy sauce on this? Yeah, I think I'll just get some soy sauce and dip it. Okay, we're going to taste test it. I don't, it's a big piece. <laughs> okay. We don't like it. Do, 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 do. A little soy sauce. And braving it out. Boy, that's a lot of excitement. <laughs> I was afraid because it was a big piece. I didn't. I didn't want to like. What if I hated it and, and spit it out? <laughs> no, no spitting out. Okay, I want to see what it tastes like on a cracker because it's really soft. Yeah. It's like really soft. Mm-hmm. Tender, beautiful meat. So I think we should put a little sriracha in the soy sauce. What do you think? Little. <laughs> Not spicy. Sriracha spicy. Okay. Oops, sorry. Sorry, everybody. We mix some sriracha in there. Okay. I'm gonna sneak a piece here from behind the camera. Okay. I like it with the cracker too. Mmm. I can taste the sriracha. Mmm. Amazing. Mmm. I like the sriracha with it. I'm surprised. That is fantastic. Fresh California Pacific salmon. Just. That we caught. We caught it. We just cut it up and now we're eating it. You want to taste it with a cracker? Sure. I like the texture. That's good. That is good, isn't it? Wow, that's, that's surprising. I can't believe we're eating this without cooking it. Like, holy crud. Might have to make up some more of this. That's crazy. I like it better with the cracker, I think, because of the, the consistency. It gives me the crunchy. Mm -hmm. That's really good. 